Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the new collection from Mono's Hair. Um, if you somehow live under a rock and don't know who she is, she is, I kind of consider her one of like the OG influencers, even though there's obviously been influencers who have had a platform way longer than her, but she was really one of the pioneers to like more of a like focus on healthy hair care what I mean by that is like really focusing on like the science behind your hair and not just kind of you know doing product cocktails like you know for just whatever reason she would really focus and hone in on ingredients not necessarily clean ingredients but you know what ingredients do this and she was really also one of the proponents of like silicones are not bad like y'all relax and uh, she really helped me kind of navigate my hair care journey and just open me up to more products and she also put me on to a lot of high-end things so that being said when I found out that she was coming out with a line I was like oh my lanta is about to be steep so um, yeah without any further ado let's just go ahead and jump into my review. My nephew spent the night and like I totally did not make up the bed after him hopefully okay let's be completely honest I didn't even make up my bed now. I just like pulled the sheet back and like pretended to move some pillows. Girl, I don't even know why I tried. But let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, so her line comes with uh, seven items, I believe. Alrighty, so let me tell you which um, all the items are, which what all the items are, and then I'll tell you which ones I purchased. So um, the scalp and curl clarifier, which is a pre-poo um, shampoo treatment. I don't know why I said that. It just says pre-shampoo treatment. And um, it says use before each wash to balance, exfoliate, and reveal a healthier scalp and curls. The next one is the Curl Hydrator Shampoo. And this is a sulfate-free gentle cleansing, um, gentle moisturizing cleanser. And it says you can use to, um, obviously, shampoo provides pillow soft moisture with botanicals, essential oils, and proteins to soften, smooth, and tangle, and gently cleanse. The curl co-wash and conditioner removes like build up and detangles and those were three items I did not get because you guys know sometimes the like, shampoos aren't already on our aren't always necessarily like a staple for me as far as I have to have the shampoo and condition that matches with the collection which Mo does um, if you're not familiar with her channel she will kind of attest to the fact that when science is involved a lot of times um, with your hair being pH balanced and all that it's best to use the entire collection um, or the entire um, line of a particular product but I still didn't because I just bought what I wanted. So now we're moving into the products that I purchased. And I purchased the Curl Primer, which it says, beautiful style starts with a solid foundation. Prep and prime your curls with this smoothing, hydrating treatment. Next, I had the, uh, well, actually, let me kind of go in order that I used it. Uh, the Curl Restoring Treatment, which says, oh my god, this is small. Restore elasticity, two strands for smooth, defined, moisturized curls. Next, I had the Curl Setting Gel. Why am I not showing you guys products? Um, and it says, uh, fight frizz and define curls without the crunch. Set your wash and go or twist strands for a beautiful, shiny finish. And lastly, I use the, uh, what? Why am I acting like I never filmed a YouTube video? Lastly, I use the Curl Smoothing Pudding, and it says this rich styler. Y'all, it is so bright in here. There we go. This rich styler makes twist styles or any style you create smooth and defined with flexible holds and a beautiful balance. And it's funny that I kept noticing that she would mention like flexible hold because I feel like that's one of the things that she says often, like, you know, for a particular style, she'll be like, you know, this is for flexible hold and, you know, not her stylers, but stylers in general whenever she's recommending them so without further ado I know I said that already but no more ado after this um, I'll go ahead and tell you what the product says it does I'll tell you what I think it did and then we'll see how it performs all right so obviously first I went ahead and um, used the curl primer and this is obviously after I shampoo I did not use the curl primer why have I never filmed the video before I am all over the place 
Alrighty, so first I went in with the Curl Restore and Treatment and that was of course after I shampooed and conditioned my hair with another product. Obviously, I just mentioned that I didn't get the shampoo and conditioner from this line. And the first thing I noticed about this product was, you guys, the smell. It smells like perfume. And not like, oh, it has a perfume X scent or it smells, you know, like it could have a little bit of Bath and Body Works spritz in there. Like, so, no, it actually smells like I put perfume on and I'm okay with that. If you are not a fan of strong smells, to me personally, this smell is very strong, but I love it. It doesn't linger too long. Like, no, I don't smell it in my hair anymore, but initially it is very strong. I kind of wish it did linger if we're being completely honest, but, um, Anyways, the directions say wash with curl, hydrator, shampoo, apply in sections, and detangle, process for um, 10 minutes. Well, and it, it was saying, you know, apply this, not the shampoo. But um, apply in sections and detangle, process for 7, 10 minutes with hair steamer, dryer, or conditioning cap. Rinse and apply curl primer. So I applied this normally what would have been in the shower, but obviously I showed you guys how I applied it and it was extremely, extremely, extremely smooth and silky. It glided through my hair effortlessly. I was very surprised because it's a little bit on the thicker side. It's not too thick, but like if I were to turn the container upside down, like no product's going to come out just to kind of show you guys. But it reminds me of the consistency of the Carol's Daughter, the vanilla one, if you've ever tried that, the actual uh, deep conditioner, the one that comes with like the little purple um, writing on it or purple packaging, whatever you want to call it. For some reason, I can't remember, but it's vanilla something or another. And the consistency reminds me of that, but you guys... When I say it has amazing slip, I truly mean it. And I was very judicious with how much product I applied because I am familiar with the types of products that she likes to use. So I figured this would be one of those situations where a little bit goes a long way, and it did. Because initially I was looking at the product size and I was like, did she just give me six ounces when most masks are in 12 ounce packages? So I was like, what? But I was like, you know what? Let me let me just not be so liberal with my products. So um, as you guys can see, I really didn't use a lot at all. Um, but I mean, it was extremely hydrating and moisturizing when I rinsed the product out. I couldn't believe how my hair just felt soft when I was going through after rinsing it out and detangling my hair. My hair just felt ridiculously soft and I was able to just go through and just glide through my hair effortlessly with the comb and I felt like it just I can't even say like melted all my tangles away but it just felt like it, it felt like my tangles were just air like just poof they just poof they just just disperse out just you know they just didn't want to be there anymore like tangles my hair tangles we don't know her that's how I felt about this so I was I can't even say blown away because I I'm gonna be honest I expected for her to drop hot fire just because of you know knowing how she focuses on the science behind the product but I and this is going off of I haven't read any reviews on it obviously product just launched yesterday I haven't I didn't even look at her um her video and shout out to let me let me make sure I give proper credit where credit is due because actually the only reason I knew that this product was launching was because one of my subbies slid in the DMs Curly Shell 86 let me know she just like sent a picture of it and was like there you go so I was like I'll be ready on October 1st um so wait today's the third it's October 3rd I lied. The product came out October 1st. I got it October 2nd and we're putting the video up October 3rd. Um, no, but yeah, I'm absolutely blown away with that treatment mask. So next I went in with the curl primer and if you guys aren't new to my channel, you know I love me a good leave-in that is liquidy. So this was right up my alley and it just says apply to wet hair evenly distribute and style with curl smoothing pudding, curl setting gel or a curl styling potion. And I apologize that was one product that I didn't get um, that I didn't mention earlier was the curl styling potion. I did not purchase that. Um, but this right here 
heavily scented so if you don't like heavily scented products this might bother you but like I said it doesn't linger but this right here it says that it's actually hydrating it says it's smoothing and hydrating I actually agree with that and for the most part I do not think that leave-ins where I immediately noticed a difference in my hair but when I actually um, I applied it two different ways I sprayed it throughout my hair and then I also kind of sprayed it in the palm of my hand and then um, distribute it through my hair with my fingers and I actually noticed that a it felt like it gave my hair more slip which I was not expecting from a product so liquidy and B I noticed that it felt actually hydrating to my hair not just like I put water on my hair but I felt like my hair was kind of soaking it up and absorbing it so I absolutely love this like I said I detangled prior to using this because that is just how I like to detangle my hair when you know no product is in it but I feel like this would 100% aid in detangling and that makes me happy it gives gives me all the feels okay all the feels now next I use two products simultaneously um, I use the curl setting gel on this side of my hair and then I use the curl smoothing pudding on this side of my hair and there actually was one section when I mixed the two but as far as the curl setting gel it is extremely liquidy um, it says after curl primer blah 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 just go ahead and apply this and obviously I did flat twist on my hair so after I applied the curl primer I went in with this gel and I was fully <laughs> expecting it to do nothing because it is so liquidy. I was like, am I putting water on my hair? Like, what is this? Y'all, look at, does this look like it did nothing? Does this look like it did nothing? No, it doesn't. No, ma'am, Pam. This did, this made some shape. Like this right here. Do y'all see what I'm seeing? Like, what? I don't, I can't even, I can't, I can't, I can't even. So I, I still don't even know what to say about this product because it was so unexpected for it to work so exceptionally well. I, I mean, as far as, you know, I'm concerned, MIO, but I, I can't, we'll circle back to her. And the next product that I used was the Curl Smoothing Pudding and same thing, it just says to apply after using the leave-in. It doesn't, I didn't see anywhere on the instructions where it said to combine them but I did that anyway in this back section right here and to be honest I do feel like my hair has a little, like a smidget more hold but it's not noticeable as far as like the any like texture difference like it doesn't look like it has more holds or more definition and I just use the putting itself on this section right here and to be honest both sides of my hair are equally hydrated the only difference that I noticed is that this has less shrinkage than this and I'm sure you guys can see it too this side is obviously longer but this side has more volume so it's a toss-up depending on what you're looking for I happen to like the side that's shorter with more volume but that's just you know my opinion so if you're looking for more volume I would definitely recommend the curl setting gel if you're looking for something that's a little bit more elongating I would recommend the pudding I would recommend both of them equally I would 100% buy every single thing that I just mentioned again also because I got them for the low there is a sale for for 20 don't know if it's still going on but uh, the original price of each item so the deep conditioner or treatment was $11.99 I only paid like I think five dollars for it. The primer leave-in was ten ninety nine. The smoothing pudding was eleven ninety nine, and the curl setting gel was ten ninety nine. So that being said, and the amount of product I used, like I didn't have to use a ton of product at all for anything. And the fact that the products mix so well together without a flake in sight, I mean, I just. I don't even know what we're even talking about here like and even on the parts of my hair that are more dry I still have so much definition and so much shine um, and I feel like my hair just looks healthy like you guys I don't even I, I don't even know what to say I really don't like I am so pleasantly surprised and I'm so happy like this is one of those lines that I feel like is a staple and literally there's not a hair type out here that will not benefit from this and i'm so happy because i would have hated to come on here and be like lines trash um so whew, makes me so happy i didn't have to do that but 
Um, if you've tried it, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If there's anything that I missed on here, because I feel like I'm rambling because I'm so excited. Um, anything that I missed, comment down below. Let me know what you think and let me know what you guys think of my results. And I want to know which side do you like better? Do you like Le Volume or Le Stretch? Let me know. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was beneficial for you guys. I hope I was able to adequately explain the situation here and what's going on. And I hope you were able to take away something from this. So I think that is it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please do so at press for curls and subscribe and give this video a like. It helps my channel a ton and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.